I am very glad to meet you. So myself, I am Dinesh Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Gomorrah College of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is Design of Pneumatic Circuit Using Cascade Method. Let's see. Learning Objective com Completion of this chapter, the learner should be able to explain the meaning of cascading, understand the sequence of operations is necessary in automation, design a pneumatic circuit for a given sequence using cascade method, learning cascade circuit and their valve connections for given sequence. First of all, what is mean by cascading? Cascading is a methodological approach to the problems of pneumatic circuit design. So what are the ways we can see before going to that the cascading meaning is in series. In this method the sequence of pneumatic cylinder is controlled by using various types of signaling elements. These signaling elements are driven by forward and backward strokes of the cylinder. But air supply is pilot line is delivered through cascade system. So finally the cascading is is the process of identifying the sequence of operations which is involved in the pneumatic cylinder for the completion of the particular task or particular applications. So that is cascading. So we are identifying the sequence of operations of the cylinder whether it may be a forward or retract, retraction stroke. Okay. Then go for why understanding sequence of operation is necessary in automation. Sequencing of operation is necessary in automation because there are often controlled situations where sequences of outputs are required when switch from one output to another being controlled by the sensor. In many industries having automations nowadays. So in this case uh, we are putting the automation means what is the sequence, sequence of operation is must known. Uh, for example, uh, take a drilling machine, make a hole in a particular component. So what is the sequence? First we have to clamping the workpiece, then drilling the workpiece, then unclamping the workpiece. This is the sequence of operation. So according to that, so we have to fix the uh, workpiece by using clamping device. So we are using uh, some actuators to clamp the workpiece. So this is the first sequence. Then next sequence is making a drilling operations. The actuators will activate the drillers so to perform the drilling operations. Then third sequence is unclamping. After completion of the making the hole by using the drill drill pit, you have to unclamp the workpiece from the machine. So this is the third sequence. So according to that we have to plan the sequence of cl clamping drilling and unclamping for the actuators mechanisms by forwarding and reversing the actuators by supplying the fluids or air to the particular actuators. So this is the need or uh, we have to understand the sequence for the getting the automation in a particular applications. Then design a pneumatic circuit for the given sequence using cascade method. Here yeah, four steps are followed. The given sequence letters A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus, C plus, C minus. The letters A, B, C represents the number of cylinders. Cylinder A, cylinder B and cylinder C. So three cylinders are used. Then the positive sign represents the extension stroke of the cylinder. Negative sign represents the retraction stroke of the cylinder. Okay. So this is our first step. Second step we have to group in together the sequence. So uh, for grouping conditions, grouping conditions is no letter should be repeated within any group. Then groups are identified group 1, group 2, group 3 like that. So at the, at the way we are identifying A, B. So another one B minus is a, a repeated letter. So this one is considered as a group 1. Next one B minus 
a minus c plus so again you are adding the c means it's a repeated letter so not allowed as a group together so stopping this one so this is group 2 and c minus is group 3 so for minimum group conditions c minus can be assigned in group 1 so here different letters a sorry and b so three cylinders are there and there is no repetition so this is considered as a group 1 this is considered as a group 2 so finally we are grouping the uh, given sequence as 2 step 3 we have to identify the number of pressure lines so number of pressure lines equal to number of groups so number of groups group is here 2 so 2 groups which is equal to 2 pressure lines fourth step selection of valves so three kinds of valves direction control valve limit valve and cascade valve how many number of direction control valves is needed which is equal to number of cylinders here the number of cylinder is 3 a b c so three cylinders three direction control valves is required next thing number of limit valves so number of limit valves equal to 2 times of the number of cylinders 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 okay 6 number number of limit valves are required then number of cascade valve which is equal to number of group minus 1 so number of group is here 2 so 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 then the given sequence we can produce the cascade circuit and give the connections for this sequence let's see how to give the connections so this is the uh, procedure first one cylinder a so double acting cylinder a double acting cylinder b double acting cylinder c plus and minus is a forward and return stroke are mentioned in each cylinders then for the each cylinder having two limit valves that is called a naught a1 is a limit valve for the cylinder a b naught b1 is a limit valve for the cylinder b c naught c1 is the limit valve for the cylinder c then va it is the direction control valve 4 by 2 direction control valve for cylinder A. VB is a 4 by 2 direction control valve for cylinder B. VC is the 4 by 2 direction control valve for the cylinder C. As per the calculation, number of pressure lines is required is 2. So, group 1 and group 2. So, pressure line 1, pressure line 2. From the calculation, number of cascade valves is required 1, so 1 cascade valve is used. Now, we are giving the uh, connections or circuits for this given line. For uh, continuous line represents the uh, pressure manifold to group 1. The daughter line represents the operation of group in 2. So, let us see, first sequence, what is that here? first sequence is c minus so c minus a plus b plus under the category of group 1 so for completing the group 1 pressurized line so we are giving the connections from group 1 line c minus so this is c first line c minus which is directly given to this negative side so what happens what happens uh, the fluid flow from the positive side the cylinder will be retracted and touches in the limit wall C naught then C naught is energized the fluid flow from this path to VA positive side so VA positive side it will be energized what happens the fluid gives the forward stroke A plus so forward stroke the limit wall A naught will be energized. This will touch us over here. So, A1 will be energized. This A1 energized means, so it will be, you know, its output is given to VB positive side. Direction control valve for the cylinder B is positive side. So, positive side which means again forward stroke B plus. So, it touches the B1. Then, this uh, limit valve energized it will be connected to cascade ball now the pressure line will be change over through this cascade ball energized to the pressure line 2 
from the pressure line 2 directly the fluid is connected here from this daughter line to the negative side so negative side which means uh, the fluid flow this direction and gives the retraction motion of the cylinder B now it touches the B naught so that this B naught will energized then the fluid will be goes to VA negative side so VA negative side will be energized means the fluid flow again uh, this side so the motion of the cylinder A is to be retracted that means A minus it touches the A naught so A naught will be energized then the fluid goes back to this side to VC now VC will be energized what happens the fluid is crossed to this negative side so C plus is there done so it will be forward this direction so C1 is to be activated now it will be comes back this way and activate the cascade valve now the pressure line 1 will be energized again the sequence will be follows so a first c minus a plus b plus then b minus a minus c plus the sequence will be repeated again and again okay thank you